Hi Aries and welcome to your daily video. I hope all of you are doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. So hope all of you have an amazing weekend. So I'm going to shuffle out the cards and see what comes up for your Aries general message. So it helps to watch comedy if you can stay sort of upbeat um, during times when there's frustration. I have been watching, I have watched Trevor Wallace's channel for so long and it's freaking hilarious. His channel is so freaking funny and um, his skits and characters are freaking hilarious. So um, it will definitely like change your mood. It's almost like life changing because when you watch some of the things he does and observes and then creates characters. Some of them are not really my style because they're a little raunchy, but most, like 90%, are um, like freaking hilarious and they stay with you during the day. So when you see something, you think of his video and then that just makes you smile and, you know, it's very uplifting. So I just really love that and I wanted to share. Um, there's several other comedians that are like that too, but. Um, all right, so I'm just going to leave it there and hope you guys are great. Um, I have my little cup here. I don't know how many of you, I just wanted to share this, have, um, this is the Area 51 cup I got at this Area 51, like, little, like, gift shop thing, but um, I don't know how many of you have the Nespresso, because I used to go to Starbucks, like, every other day or every day. And I got an espresso maker and there's one called Stormio and several other ones. But the Stormio, um, it is freaking good. And if you just put like whatever creamer in it, it literally tastes like a latte or a cappuccino. I just love it so much. And I don't even really go to Starbucks anymore and spend all the money. And it is the best coffee ever. And I'm not being paid to say that or anything. Like nobody pays me. <laughs> I'm still really small of a channel, so like nobody pays me for anything, but it is like the best coffee. I just love it. So I was even thinking, should I just get rid of my Keurig altogether? Like just don't even use it. Um, it de you know, so the flavor, this, the coffee is pretty strong, but the flavor is just like so good. All right, so let's see. Asking for a message from Spirit here for Aries for today or timeless. But let's see what's coming up for Aries in their general message. The Hermit. Okay, so you could be getting some advice or from some wisdom from someone who is going to shine the light on something, expose it, uh, highlight, give you information. Um, it could be you turning within. No, I feel like you're going to get some wisdom from someone. They, the challenge is there's a person here who is coming in like kind of in a hostile mood or host, they have hostility and it could be anybody that comes across your path, but you may find out, see the sun is here. You may find out something you didn't know about this person. Oh my gosh. Okay. They could be blaming someone, not you, but it could be someone's blaming someone. The, uh, the energy of anger, hostility, blame, wanting to win no matter what the cost, wanting to be right is in contrast to the major arcana of wisdom and spirituality and learning and knowledge that you'll be getting from someone or that you'll be having. The bottom of the deck is major arcana justice. So with the justice, sorry, the lamp is there and I like, so um, with the justice as the root, something needs to be corrected about this situation. It needs correction. It need, basically that's what it is. It needs to be corrected. And any major arcana card has to do with things beyond the self. It's, it's the universe. So the universe, spiritual God, what have you comes in and corrects this situation. Hierophant. Yeah. 
it could be government it could be police officers um it could be because hierophon has to do with um established orders queen of air there's someone who may have been bitter towards you or you may have been giving advice to someone you may have been cold to sort towards someone we have an ace of cups on your mind very powerful feelings about this situation. So this is not something where you just brush it on the, under the rug and you're like, whatever. This is something that matters. With um, justice, there could be a legal matter that you're dealing with. It could be anything to do with court. All right. Ooh, okay. So you have <laughs> you have very powerful truth coming in here. Um, I'm getting the thought of the truth sets you free. You know, there may have been someone who was acting strangely towards you, you know, and you'll be getting clarity, you know, the eagle's eye of clarity. Something will be made crystal clear through information. So you've got the emotions matching the information. The emotions are powerful. The information is powerful. Ooh, <laughs> you Aries are a queen of fire. You're ready for this. You are confident and capable. You can handle anything with the queen of wands. That's a court. It's a court card. It is subordinate to a king energy, which just just means you're more of a uh, take action, wait and see, um, be center stage, but also be okay to take someone's direction. It's a more of a support energy, but it is a center stage energy. Somebody who carries their own wand. They have power. But it might not be taking, making actual changes. It might be somebody who listens. Okay, we do have here a nine of water. Somebody is in the energy of celebration, good times, fun. Um, you know, everything is great. <clears throat> you have another ace. You have an ace of fire. So you have something that is five of wands is here. There could be some competition you have. Bottom of the deck, we have the final ace. We have the ace of pentacles, which is a, a new beginning that is real and meaningful and will grow. It is something real, meaningful, and will grow. What is this? Knight of Rod or King of Knight of Swords. Somebody lashing out. It lo almost looks like I don't believe you're jealous in a Queen of Wands energy. You're definitely um, inspiring, inspired. Um, you don't just sit around and wait. You do things, you know, in a fire energy. Oh, a tower. Okay. All towers are meant to happen. It's a major arcana coming from the universe. Meant to sort of shake a tree, you know, for the fruit to fall. And it's like, you know, it's meant to sort of shake up. What you don't see here is there's a seven of swords. Somebody was trying to keep some information private or hidden. I don't think it's like something that is theft or you know theft of information although it could be sometimes what is the outcome here for Aries the four of wands stability happiness partnerships that are stable jobs that are stable um, maintaining a stable life it is also when you've made up your mind about something to keep something a certain way it's like you were already at a two of wands. You've already made up your mind. You've made up your mind and you're, you're sort of sticking with that energy. What is this tower about here for Aries? Three of swords. Okay. There could be some information delivered to you from a person in a way that, I don't know. It's five of swords is conflict you know, spiteful, resentful. Um, but you do have a stable outcome. Things do stabilize. 
Seven of fire, standing your ground, standing up for yourself, um, fighting, could be fighting back sometimes, defending, you know, on the defense. This could be someone you're dealing with as well. So I'm just going to sort of put it off or put it back in because I don't know if it's you or it's them. Your energy is queen of wands. So you have confidence. You believe, you know, you're not getting walked all over. You know, you believe in yourself. You have confidence. There is a truth coming out. So let's see what the truth is. What is the Ace of Swords truth? Ooh, Eight of Cups. Somebody leaves. They depart. An emotional departure. They don't want to be somewhere. They don't want to connect. Um, sometimes this is someone who needs to go off on their own. They need to go off and find themselves. Why is this an Ace of Cups? Why is there Ace of Cups on your mind here, Aries? There's a conflict. There's a problem. There's a struggle for control. It could be fights or arguments. Powerful feelings connected to power struggles, perhaps. So what is this Nine of Cups? Who is doing the celebrating, the parties, the fun, the drinking? Um, what is this Nine of Cups energy around? Six of Cups. Friends positive, you know, sort of good times, good feelings, good memories, but there's this feeling of eight of cups of like, I need to go off on my own. Why is there um, a six of cups here? Four of coin. Somebody either doesn't want to let go or doesn't want to open up there. It's a closed off energy. Four of coin is holding on to what you have, but closing off. Blocking, protecting, not not wanting to open up and give. Um, it's like kind of like a, a closed off um, energy of like only for maybe like members, only members here, only friends here, and you're in a in a very inspired energy. So. Why does this hit as a tower? You don't like the information? Ooh, Ten of Swords and the Moon. You didn't see it coming or it's information that feels like you don't you don't like it. I mean, it could be someone who... Why is there a Four of Coin? Why is somebody closing off? Seven of Rods. Okay, so it's the other person is on the defense. They're kind of feeling like they have to keep people away because of a conflict. There is a fight here, five of wands. You may decide to leave a certain situation and just say, you know what, this isn't for me. Why are you queen of wands? Why are you, I had a water energy yesterday. Why is Aries queen of the fire wand? hangman there's something that's on pause there's something that is not going anywhere it's just like stuck in one place two of cups you have an ally a friend a supporter i see hangman sometimes as like you have no other choice but what but to wait like traffic or um something's coming in the mail you don't you don't have the ability to like make this come to you right now even though you are in this fire energy so wands in tarot are the um it's a wood it's a tree the wand is supposed to be i forget what the name of the tree is um the wand is a fire it's a tree that um is always there it's like a very stable tree that's rooted in the ground um, and I believe it's like all year long and it might even be this tree that regenerates itself um, there is a tree that like re regenerates well all trees re regenerate but this tree I think even if it's like burned down it will like regrow so it's a very resilient fire that like always burns um, so nothing's stopping you. You end up as a four of wands. Look at the seven of wands. There's something about defensiveness. What is the justice at the root? Two of cups. Okay, a partner, a friend, an ally, someone you care about. 
There's something about shared feelings. Okay. What is this four of wands is the outcome? Page of coin, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, messenger. And then we have nine of swords, worry, fear, concern. Um, ideas going through your head, maybe sleepless nights. Why do we have an eight of cups here? Three of cups. There's a party, a group, a celebration, people getting together. Why is there a five of wands here? Ooh, the devil. Okay, so there's something kind of toxic, kind of negative. Um, there could be someone who is con wanting to be in full control of a situation. Okay. Justice is at the root with a relationship with two people. Something is being corrected. Why is there a defensive energy here? Seven of fire. Hermit card. Virgo. There could be any Virgo. It could also be any wise person, um, an expert, someone who exposes and shines the lamp on something. Okay, so there's something about other people walking away, putting space or distance. Um, what is the page of coin and nine of swords? Oh, the seven. Okay, so there's something here about information not being shared. Information that is kept private. I don't want to say secretive, but it could be, um, it could be lies. Usually seven of swords is a strategy to not confront. So if you don't want to confront someone, you may just not tell them things. What is this devil energy about here? To me, the devil is just toxic. Oh, putting up seven, nine of rods, putting up with something toxic, putting up with something not good, not healthy. What is the Ten of Swords? Three of Coin. Connections that are meaningful. Okay. Why is this connection meaningful with stress? Oh, King of Coin. There could be something about a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There may have been backstabbing or secrets. I don't know. I don't want to say that that's for sure, but it is there. There's a dependency on three. So three with a three of cups, it's very private. It's very exclusive. It's like I've invested, you've invested. And then there's a four of coin, like closing off. So why are you queen of wands and all this? You could be kind of mad. Oh, there's an ace. You have a new development, a new beginning, a new opportunity. Maybe somebody's jealous of you with the five of swords. If you have a new opportunity, you're feeling inspired, you're feeling good, you're, you know, very energized. Somebody's words are coming out in a way that's like not that healthy or just kind of bitter. Oh, the death card. Something changes or ends. You could get a life changing opportunity for yourself here. What is the nine of wands? The Ace of Cups. Okay, same energy. Powerful new feelings. Powerful new emotions. Not wanting to quit. Feeling very strongly about something. Why is there a Two of Cups with Justice? There's loyalty. So you have loyalty towards someone. You know, I think I even said in the reading last night that I did for today, like somebody could be going to jail. <laughs> Um, I don't really see that now, but like a, fr a friend of yours, Aries, or someone you know. What is the death for Aries with the Ace of Coin? What's this new beginning? Ooh, power. Some of you are possibly getting promoted. There's a position of real authority here that you have. Okay. Why is there a Seven of Swords to the Nine? Some hidden information. page of swords it's more like gossip it's not it's information through the grapevine it's not a king of swords i think last night it was a king of swords it was like direct and clear so things come out stable but there is some kind of hidden secret here there's a king of coin there's some kind of here's this page of swords again um the page of swords observes gathers information brings the information back 
can be minor or petty conflict. Eight of Swords. Okay, there it is. The jail card. <laughs> the card of jail. <laughs> like, did someone... It could be, like, something very minor. Like, someone got in... I mean, there's a Five of Wands here, so maybe somebody got into a, a fight or scuffle in a bar or something. I don't know. Like, why... And nobody wants to share this. People are pushing it away. Ten of Wands. It's There's a lot of pressure and a lot of responsibility. You Aries find this life-changing situation. Queen of Error. Okay, you may have been given advice or someone gave you advice. Six of Wands. Advertising, marketing, riding around on the horse of victory, telling people. Somebody may tell you don't tell anyone. <clears throat> Why is this devil here with the nine of rods? Why is it there? Strength. It takes a lot of inner strength to endure. Hmm. Emperor. Okay. Personal power of the Aries. Could be a father, father figure. Um, why is there eight of cups leaving or walking away? Five of Cups. Okay, so there is something here that you don't really like, you don't really enjoy about a situation. The sun. It's exposed, it's illuminated, it's highlighted. Somebody could critique you in front of others. The Queen of Swords to the Six of Wands. Hmm. Why is there Eight of Swords? It's the illusion that you're trapped. You're never trapped unless you're Oh, somebody is exposing, highlighting, shining the light on. That's why I'm back to the same message. It's like, did someone go to prison? Nine of Cups. Getting your wish. <laughs> somebody here is very satisfied, and that is the energy around you. It's like somebody's very satisfied. Ooh, that Eight of Cups. That somebody leaves, and they just go away. and they. But that's an energy around you. Like, somebody is very satisfied, very happy. There is this energy of defensiveness. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. Okay, let's see with the Lenormand. What is coming in for you, Aries? I hope you guys like my background. Um, I put in a new rug, and it makes it really cozy in here and soft. Um, and if any of you guys want a private reading, I have them on my website. Usually I get them back same day. Sometimes it might be later in the evening, um, but they are a recorded message. So. so you're owning your power. You know who you are with the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. That Because Queen of Swords comes out to clarify the Queen of Wands, it could be you giving advice to someone. Um... There is something quite toxic that's in the environment that someone wants to hold back, not share, kind of conceal. The underlying energy is justice, correction, enforcement of truth. All right, so let's see what's happening here for you, Aries. Show us Aries. Ooh, we have a faded meeting. So the soulmate swans with fate. So if you can see, it's the soulmate swans with fate. Who are you meeting? There is a four of wands at the end of this. That could be someone who you have been wanting to be in a partnership with. The moon is here. Okay. There's a solution to something you're dealing with. The key. <clears throat> it could be also the key to your heart. This could be a love message for some of you. Oh, wow. The flowers. The lilies are kind of the energy or the feeling of like a large wedding, a party. Um, you know, really f nice energy. I don't see anything bad here. Oh, we have the acceptance of the rose. Somebody is accepting the offer. So it could be anything. could be a job. could be an, absolutely anything at all. Time is an issue for some reason. Hmm. 
coming out of the storm, light at the end of the tunnel. And the person who offers the rose. Okay, so there could be something where you have to accept this within a certain time frame. The mother bear of protection. And what do we have here for Aries? Show us one more. Something's being looked at very carefully with the um, magnifying glass. Something is being possibly even inspected. We do have people talking. Okay. So there could be some kind of faded meeting because of the four of wands at the end. It's a stable connection, something. It's a goal that you've been trying to achieve because you're excited, you're inspired. You take some sort of action. The three of wands, you've made your decision, you're waiting, and then it arrives. So your ship arrives in some kind of manner. However, the person around you is full of fun, full of life, but they're very sort of closed off. Like I only deal with the people I know, and it could be three people, three of cups, three of coin. I only deal with people who've invested in me or paid me. That could be the same. Six of Cups is also people who they have a history with. They've known they have a history. So did I go to the Area 51? Um, I went to the gift shop. <laughs> but anyway. Well, this could be definitely a faded meeting of some kind where it's meant to happen because we have this card of fate. We do have this spy card, but however, there is something where you walk away from something else. You decide that your emotional connection is not there and you feel a little sad about it. But on the other hand, you walk away from something to have a faded meeting. So if that makes any sense. So I think this is a really good reading for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching my channel and I will see you next time. Bye Aries.